All right, what is up, everybody? Welcome back to another video for the attack combination tutorial we are currently making. Might be one or two videos. I think we're gonna start finish most of the stuff in this video, and then maybe do a cleanup video where we just uh, go through and make everything follow all the proper procedures that you should do and stuff like that. We'll see. Uh, in this one, we're gonna make it a little bit more modular, maybe add a sword to the hand or something so that we actually have a weapon and can see how that looks as well. Uh, so, let's start by adding a sword. Uh, do, 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 do. Components, we are gonna add a, make a new blueprint class, call it BP master weapon let's call it equipment master equipment because we might want to do other stuff the weapons we will see in this one i will add a static mesh i will make the static mesh the actual root of it call it equipment mesh And I have these models here. Uh, once again, I can't share them, uh, but just grab whatever weapon models you have. You probably have your own or get some from the marketplace or whatever. I'm just gonna use the this sword here. And we have a couple of options here. I want to go to the skeleton because we need to add this sword to our character, right? So in order to do that, um, we need to attach it. The usual way to do that is by sockets, which makes sense. I'm just going to try something here. Oh, wow, that's a big sword. Gonna find my sword and make it a little bit smaller. Just scale. Zero point eight, maybe. Still pretty large. I don't know it's just a tutorial, so I shouldn't mess around with stuff like this, but it bugs me, so I'm just gonna keep it there. That's a more reasonable one handed sword. Maybe still a bit too large, but so if I just attach it to the hand, so I mean this is up to you how you wanna do it. Uh if you don't wanna mess around with sockets, because the annoying thing with sockets is you could just copy them between projects, but this game and I mentioned animation sample will be updated probably a lot so the next time you get a new version you want this to be easily updated as well and if we just swap out the new versions we uh, we have to like add the sockets again to the next project and the more stuff like that we add the more annoy the more annoying things it will be to like in integrate in the next version so what we could do is we could also just try to match it to the hand straight away because we have the hand right here right so uh, maybe I shouldn't have made it in order to do that I should not have made that a I call this root remove this because now we can actually move this one instead. And I have no idea which directions we want to play around with. We actually have to test it in game because it won't show here either. Yeah, this is a stupid idea. Let's not do that. Let's just do sockets. 
add socket equip sword this is way easier add preview asset sword and now we can just align this to wherever we want to instead and my original plan is way better um, i need to stop th thinking so much reset this one remove this let's call it equipment mesh again now this is the root and that's better let's see how it looks Swish. that's an attack right there maybe a little bit straighter There we go. How does that look? That looks perfect, in my opinion. So now we have a way to actually attach our sword. Let's do a custom event. Equip. Equipment. Add equipment. Set current equipment. There we go. Uh, we're gonna make this client authoritative first. Client set current equipment. Uh, so I'm just gonna assume you're not making a massive multiplayer online game. Uh, gonna do server set current equipment maybe we should just make it server authoritative let's start by making it server authoritative and we also want to make it work with single player I promised I would do that so actually let's see Spawn actor from class. Master equipment. Get owner. Get transform. Get actor transform. Oop. Always spawn ignore collision. In here, I'm also gonna grab this equipment mesh and remove all collision for it because otherwise it will interfere with movement and things like that. I'm gonna promote this to a variable current weapon. And we are gonna do attach actor to components. We already have our owning character. So from here we can get mesh. Plug that into the parent and equip sword. It's the socket name, which is the socket name we added here, equip sword. And we're gonna snap to target, snap to target, and snap to target for the transition rules. And just to see if it works, we're gonna go to our begin play and do server set current equipment. Just to see works and there we go we have a sword looking good uh, this is a poor setup though so we're not gonna do that this is a server event so we're only gonna do this on the server
and we're gonna go in here and make sure this actor is replicated. And we should go to our character and make sure the component replicates. Go, now the component replicates. And let's try playing. And you can see we all have, I have a sword, I also have a sword, and all of us have a sword. Shoof, shoof. Perfect. Let's also add some stuff here. Let's call this server equip weapon. We're gonna grab our current weapon, convert to validated get. And if if it's already valid, we're gonna destroy actor. If it's not valid, we're gonna bypass the destroy node. So this ensures we can never have two weapons equipped at the same time uh, and accidentally create a bunch of them unnecessarily. Sweet! Yeah, I saw there's a lot of other tutorials already out there of how to merge this with ALS and stuff like that. Because at this point maybe you want to also uh, change the overlays to use some other animation on the upper body. Because it kind of looks a little bit bad with a sword when running around. So I might, I might add that in the next video or something in case... I don't know, we'll see. This is just an attack combo tutorial, so probably do one more video with that and maybe do some other videos of that later. But yeah, let me know in comments in the comments what you want to see and how you want to add stuff. Uh, probably keeping it fairly basic with this for now, so we will stop this video here and probably do some cleanup in the next one. Uh, and then see where we go from there. So yeah, thanks for watching. I will see you in the next one. Bye.